In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve a ratio problem using a part, part, total difference chart. So if you look here at number one, I'm just going to read the problem first. It says, Romello loves wearing fitted hats. In his collection, he has three blue hats for every five black hats. If Romello has six more black hats than blue hats in his hat collection, how many of his hats are blue? So that's a lot of information right there in that problem. But what I do know is that I heard a ratio. And my ratio that I saw was three blue hats for every five black. And I'm just going to start off by creating my part part total chart. Okay, so it looks just like this. First draw a box, split it in half. And since I have two parts, I know that I'm going to have one part, two part, a total column, and a difference column. Um, the difference is usually heard by the word more. So you always want to think that the word more equals difference. And I know I already saw the word more, so I know I'll need to use that difference column. So the things that are being compared are blue hats to black hats. So I'm going to go ahead and label those columns blue and black. This is total and this is difference. And I can fill now my numbers in. So I had three blue hats, five black hats. So my total would be to add. I remember total is add, so five plus three I know is eight. And difference, I would use subtract, so I go back to my parts, and five minus three is two. Now it tells me in here, it says, if Romello has six more black hats. Romello has six more black hats, so I need, know that more tells me to go to difference. Sorry, the announcements were just on. So difference, it tells me six, I know that more is different, so I'm going to put my six and match it up right there. Now, if this had said just six black hats, I would have put my six in the black column. Or if it said six blue hats, I would have put my six in the blue column. But it said six more black hats than blue hats, so I know that my more is different, so I'm going to put my six here. So now I need to figure, how did I get from two to six? Well, I know two times three gives me six, and it's always gonna be multiplication. So if this is times three, every single box is also going to be times three. Then I could go ahead and fill in all my boxes, but just to save time, you can look at your question, and it says how many of his hats are blue. So I know that my question is asking for blue hats. I can look right at my labels, and I know I'll be looking at blue for my answer. And I can just go ahead and multiply. Three times three gives me nine. And I know my answer now will be nine blue hats. So in this video, I showed you how to solve a ratio problem using a part, part, total difference chart.